Hey guys, Merry Christmas. You know, one of the things that we love to do this time of year, right around Thanksgiving actually, is we love to travel up north uh, where my wife has family, Jackie has family in South Georgia. And one of the things we love to do there in Georgia is we love to cut down our very own Christmas tree. Very good memories of cutting and picking out our tree. One of the things that we do is um, we take it to get packaged and they put the Christmas tree on one of those machines that shakes the Christmas tree to get any chipmunks or any little critters out of there. And it reminds me of Alvin and the Chipmunks, the movie when Alvin and his brothers were getting kicked out of their Christmas tree. And um, it's one of my favorite memories. Yeah, and one of the things that happened, tell us the story of the, the bird, oh, right? My favorite was when we actually found something in the Christmas tree. We had a bird's nest in the Christmas tree. It didn't have any eggs, no little birdies, but it was a beautiful little bird's nest that we found in the Christmas yeah. tree. Such a great reminder of, of new life and birth. And listen, we know that, you know, Christmas is not about, you know, Christmas trees and lights and all the traditions, though we love those. Um, but it's really about the birth of Jesus and the new life that he gives us in him. But one of the very interesting uh, stories in the, in the narrative of Christmas, a very interesting faith story, is that of John the Baptist. You see, John the Baptist was called to, to be a forerunner for, for Jesus. And, and when Mary was, was pregnant with Jesus, she went to her rel relative Elizabeth's house, who was John the Baptist's um, mother, who was pregnant. She was pregnant with John the Baptist at the time. And so when Mary walks through the door and sees Elizabeth, of course, uh, John, who is in the womb of his mother Elizabeth, leaps, he leaps in the womb. Let's read and, it. Yeah, let's take a look at it. Luke chapter one, verse 41. And when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the baby leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. And she exclaimed with a loud cry, blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Oh, that's fascinating. If you think about that for a moment, this first thing that we see out of the two things I, I see right away is that faith has to be a gift. I mean, if you think about it, John the Baptist was in the womb. Mm -hmm. And so I'm sure he wasn't reading the Old Testament prophecies about mm -hmm. the coming Messiah. You know, faith has to be a gift. You know, John is so relatable. He's, he's a lot like you and I, you know. He wasn't, he wasn't the highly favored one called to, to deliver Jesus. He, it wasn't like Joseph that tried to hide Jesus. In fact, he wasn't Jesus himself. You know, he even said that. He says, I'm not even fit to tie the sandals of, of the Messiah, the Savior. He's, he's, he's just a man that was called to share Jesus. And he does so much so that Jesus himself called him the goat, you know, the greatest of all time. He says, of men born of women, there's been no one greater than John the Baptist. Mm -hmm because he's been advancing the kingdom forcefully, sharing Jesus. But under pressure, mm -hmm. if you fast forward a little later on in John the Baptist's life, under pressure, his faith lingered in the balance. Yep, in chapter seven of Luke, we see him in prison. He was in prison and, and this is what verse 18 says, and John calling two of his disciples to him, sent them to the Lord saying, are you the one who is to come? or shall we look for another? Wow. And so we see John the Baptist in prison and in his life, you see him in the beginning, leaping in the womb to actually now looming in the balance mm -hmm. in his faith. But what's so fascinating about that entire story and how it's so relatable to us is that though you can be great in your faith and you can have this great faith, but the reality of it is, is that you still have permission to be human. Mm -hmm. And I love that about John's faith story mm -hmm. because it's really in those times that your faith is really tested that you ask the bigger questions. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like it's almost intentional in that you know God really presses him in such a way that helps him to dig a little deeper in his faith and get the questions answered that he really, really needed answered. So much so, in fact, that how else really, if you think about it, how else can you hear the voice of Jesus answer? And this is how he answers. He says, the blind receive their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the poor have good news preached to them. 
And this is Jesus' response to John the Baptist. Mm. Listen, when you're tested in your faith, and your faith sort of looms in the balance, when it goes from leaping to looming or, or kind of wavering or lingering in the balance, that's when we ask the deeper questions and we hear Jesus' response mm -hmm. and he answers. Mm -hmm. And so I just wanna just remind you that you have permission to be human. Mm -hmm. This Christmas, we want you to be human, especially in these difficult times. What more times now, uh, better times do we have than, than to build our faith now in these difficult times? Amen. Let's call Joey over so that we can light this candle. Let's do it. Joey. Come on, Joey. Come on over, pups. Sit right here. Sit here, Bubba. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna grab a candle. Hey. You're gonna hold the candle, Excited. Pops, okay? You hold the candle. We're gonna pray first, okay? Oh, okay, we're gonna pray first, okay? All right. Let's close our eyes so we can pray. Father God, we thank you so much for the Christmas story. Mm -hmm. We thank you that you sent Jesus, and we thank you that you give us permission to be human this Christmas mm -hmm. and to ask the questions, to dig a little deeper so that we can hear your voice and you can remind us of why you came. Father, Father, we celebrate you this year. We, we worship you. Father, we celebrate you this year and we worship you. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We want to wish you guys all a very Merry Christmas. God bless.